I can eat wings every day, all day, all the time. I love wings. I love lemon pepper wings, and that is what drove me to create my own version, lemon scotch bonnet pepper wings. So it's obviously much hotter because a scotch bonnet's sort of the cousin of a habanero. Habaneros are hot, just hot, hot. Scotch bonnets are hot, but they have sort of like a little vinegar tang to them. They've got a very unique taste and flavor that coupled with a nice clarified butter, some lemon zest and lemon juice, and tossing your smoked wings in there is a new level of flavor that you're gonna absolutely enjoy. When it comes to wings, you can use any wood that you want. It just really depends on your flavor profile. But if you want that really, really good smokiness, add in some pecan blocks, chunks, or chips. It's really going to make a difference. It gives it a different color. And that's something you may want to consider as well when you're doing your cook. These are our baffle plates. Stack them up, lay them on one side. I personally like to have them stacked closer to me so that when I open up the lid, I'm not getting hit with high heat. Keep the heat at the back. Close her up, let it come up to temp. We're gonna cook at roughly 275 to 300, and then we're gonna finish off at 350. Now, if you enjoy heat, you can use as many peppers as you want. If this is your first time making it, I would go ahead and start simple, one pepper. These things are very hot. Today, we're just gonna use three and we're gonna half them. Then we're gonna put them onto the blaze, let it get charred up, let the oils release, let that flavor of the smoke get in there a bit. Set it to the side later and use it for our sauce. If you're trying to range exactly where the Scotch bonnet falls, a little comparison for you. Your average jalapeno is anywhere between 2,500 to 8,000 scovilles. Scovilles is how you measure heat. Now your average Scotch bonnet pepper starts at about 100,000 scoville and can get all the way up to 350. So it's quite a bit hotter. So that's why I suggest if you're just getting in, if flavor and heat is a big thing for you, start with one, one and a half, you know, but if you're, if you're all in, three, four, five, six, get in there and just have fun with it. You're really going to enjoy it. I promise you. Now, the star of the show are the wings. We've had these brining, very simple brine. You can use one gallon of water, half a cup of salt, half a cup of sugar. I don't use sugar for this particular recipe because sugar infused with the meats is going to get it a little darker than I want. I'm going to save the sugar for the honey that we're going to use for our sauce a little bit later. So once they've been brined, rinse them. We're not gonna add any other salt, but we can add a few other things to step it up a bit. You can use a binder, olive oil, avocado oil, anything that has a high smoke temp, so grapeseed, or like me, get yourself some mustard, toss in a little apple cider vinegar, a little bit of white distilled vinegar, mix it in, get it nice and smooth, pour it over and blend. It's gonna really work with the flavors that we've got going. Mix this up. All right, now we've got our wings fully coated with our binder. Time to hit it with some seasoning. Some coarse black pepper. Really get in there. This is gonna help add some texture. Really good mouthfeel. Good deal. Then just grab your favorite poultry rub. I'm using my Good Feathers rub. You can use whatever you have at home or maybe make your own blend. Get creative with it. My rub has citrus notes, so it's gonna complement the sauce. All right guys, we've got a great coating on our wings. It's time to put them under the smoker. Let's go. Ooh. 
we've got it right at about 300 now because as it's open all that heat's coming out but it's going to shoot right back up very quickly we're going to set our wings on the cook portion remember we set up two zone cooking we've got our baffle plates double stacked closest to us so we're not getting hit in the face with heat We don't want to overcrowd, but we want to make sure we fit as many of our wings on here as possible. It's okay to do multiple cooks, multiple rounds of it. No worries. There we go. A great way to add some additional flavor for this dish would be roasting off your scotch bonnet peppers. So if you enjoy heat, obviously having them raw like that is gonna bring out a lot. But if you really, really like it, plus a layer of flavor, Roast the scotch bonnets off on your smoker. Let those oils start to release and secrete. Leave the seeds in. And if you are just starting off, if you can't handle heat, half a pepper. Half a pepper for this whole thing. If you like heat, you're, you're all about it. It's not going to be too overwhelming. Four to five seeds and all. Roast them. It's just going to add so much more. And it's really, really enjoyable. At least for me it is. It's one of those dishes that that one ingredient can bring it up and up or tame it down. And if it becomes too much, add a little bit more lemon juice and a little bit more butter to it to help knock down that heat. But for a true, rich, just good, solid, consistent burn, four to five roasted peppers added to the sauce will really change the entire dynamic of the flavor. So we're gonna let the peppers smoke for roughly three to five minutes. And we're gonna have the wings cook for roughly 45 minutes to an hour or until they temp fully cooked, 165 degrees internal. Everyone loves an amazing bite through crispy wing, but it's how do you achieve it? Well, here we cooked our wings at roughly 300 degrees for majority of the cook, 30 to 40 minutes. Then when it came time to move those wings over to our sear side because that fat has become nicely rendered, we keep it there for roughly five to seven minutes. Let that high heat crisp up and tighten the exterior part of our chicken wing, get it nice and crunchy. So much so that even after you toss your wings in sauce, you still get that crunchy bite through sensation that everyone loves and enjoys with a nice set of wings. And while these are getting the final bit of heat, that final bit of crunchiness, I'm gonna to toss on one stick of butter right up front. We're gonna let it melt down a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and start working on our sauce. All right guys, we're gonna get started on making our sauce. We've got the butter on, it's rendering down, it's melting, it's getting some smoky flavor. We're gonna go ahead and start blitzing, blending, immersion blender, fine chop and strain, whichever method works for you, whatever you have handy, it'll come out the same. We've got our charred and smoked scotch bonnet peppers. Remember, we took three peppers, half of them, then grilled them and smoked them. Plop these right in here. And this is a very simple base. We're going with the principle of fat, heat, salt. We've got our heat. We're gonna add our fat, some olive oil. Saltiness we've already taken care of with our wings and the brine and the rubs. So we're gonna go ahead and supplement in some sweet. You can use honey, you can use molasses, maple syrup, some rendered down brown sugar, whatever your flavor profile is, just experiment and see what you enjoy the most. There you go, perfect, perfect. Some chicken stock here, just so we can loosen it up. And let's add in some acid. And we're gonna save this because we're gonna to wanna to zest this once we've coated our wings. So we're gonna save our squeezed lemon, get the zest, get those oils. It's very rich, very aromatic. And our rub is highlighted with citrus notes, so it's just gonna work very well.
perfect. And let's not forget our butter, which has been rendered down, it's nice and clarified. And all that means is you can see the separation of the fat. So we're gonna add this to our mixture. You can see on your container how it's slightly lacing. That's from our oils, our fats doing this thing. It's gonna be really good. All right guys, we've got our sauce made. I'm gonna go ahead and run over to our blaze, grab our wings, toss them, and serve. All right guys, we've got our wings. They're fully cooked, they smell delicious. We're just gonna take them to the next level with our sauce. Nice, generous pour here. We've worked hard on it, we wanna enjoy it. Then just give them a quick toss. Make sure they're nice and evenly coated. Uh, I wish you guys could smell this. I promise you they smell even better than they look. Very nice. It's up to you, depending how much you like your guests. You can tuck some of these away to the side for later, you know? No one has to know. Quick cook. So for this, the garnish is the lemon zest because it adds that brightness and complements the lemon juice and the acidity that we used for our pepper sauce, our lemon scotch bonnet pepper wings, getting those oils released right on top as the wings are hot, as the fat is still hot and sizzling, really it releases an amazing aromatic flavor and scents and just really adds to the bite through the taste of the entire dish. Adds that great brightness to complement the heat of our scotch bonnet peppers. And I promise you, once you start cooking with a scotch bonnet and you get that particular flavor profile in there, you'll never ever forget it. It is a very unique sense of heat and a very unique sense of flavor. Skin is perfect. The heat from that scotch bonnet pepper. I, I know you're supposed to share with the crew. I'm not, just not, on the next, I promise I got you the next. 